50 years ago did NASA unintentionally extinguish life on Mars? What a fascinating question. To find out, let's examine the 1976 Viking lander experiments. These tests were a part of a mission to investigate the Red Planet with a view to discovering life. A set of biological experiments were installed on each of the two Viking landers that were dispatched to Mars, in order to look for indications of life in the Martian soil. The methodical procedure involved gathering soil samples and putting them through numerous examinations. But now for the surprise. Some researchers believe that these experiments itself may have unintentionally eliminated Martian life. They contend that the extreme temperatures or excess water present during the testing may have killed any potential Martian bacteria. That was a quick overview of the Viking lander research. But what if the experiments that were designed to extend life instead, ended it? Consider carrying out an experiment to discover life, only to kill it in the process. Doesn't this sound like a sci-fi story? However, this might have occurred during the Viking lander experiments. The microbial massacre theory is not as absurd as it may appear to be. According to some academics, the Viking lander tests in 1976 may have unintentionally destroyed potential Martian bacteria. These microscopic organisms may have been defeated by the tests used to detect life. The outcome? Before we could even say hello, there was a microbiological carnage. The approach used in the experiments forms the basis of the theory. Some critics claim that using too much water would have killed the Martian bacteria. These bacteria might not have been prepared to manage our Earth-like circumstances much as fish cannot survive on land. Another group suggested dealing a second blow to any potential Martian life, which only served to fuel the fire. The bacteria might have been incinerated during the heating procedure employed on the soil samples, eradicating any traces of life. This notion does not however have its supporters. Other researchers contend that the existence of perchlorate, a chemical component found in Martian soil, can sufficiently account for the gases observed by the Viking landers. They believe that the Viking results can be explained without bringing up a new type of life or its unexpected extinction. So is this simply a theory or did NASA accidentally wipe out all Martian life? The discussion goes on. The experiments with the Viking lander are still a topic of discussion among experts. Let's examine the fallout and the current debate. Researchers have put forth suggestions claiming that the results of the Viking lander experiments may have been biased over the years. Some claim that NASA overused water in their testing in their quest for knowledge. According to them, the amount of water may have killed any Martian bacteria by overwhelming them before they could be identified. In the year 2008, a different team of scientists put up the notion that the experiment's heating procedure may have been the deciding factor. Any potential life forms would have been burned to ashes by the intense heat before they had a chance to manifest themselves. The scientific community has however reacted skeptically to these views. According to detractors, the gases discovered during the Viking investigations can be satisfactorily explained by the perchlorate present in the Martian soil. They contend that the findings do not need the emergence of a new species of life or the unintentional eradication of microorganisms. The discussion that was started by the results of the Viking lander experiments is still going strong today. To find the truth, theories are put forth, examined and debated. Every new theory advances our understanding of the Red Planet and its potential for supporting life. It is still unclear whether NASA extinguished life on Mars 50 years ago. However, one thing is certain, research and the search for solutions are ongoing. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay in touch with the latest in science.